On Tuesday, February 9th, the Supreme Court of the United States stayed the Environmental Protection Agency's Carbon Pollution Emissions Guidelines, otherwise known as the Clean Power Plan Rule. This rule is aimed at reducing the carbon pollution emissions of power plants across the nation. 26 states and business organizations from across the nation have sued to stop this EPA rule. The Supreme Court's stay was met with surprise by both the proponents and the opponents of the rule, since this is virtually unprecedented. Had the rule not been stayed, state legislatures would be working now to figure out how they would implement the rule and what legislation they need to enact to implement it. From the industry standpoint, millions of dollars would have been spent and potentially wasted to comply with a rule that may not even be legal in the first instance. The states and other opponents would argue that this rule is unconstitutional as a violation of separation of powers. In particular, it violates state sovereignty. To date, the electricity supply has typically been regulated by the states. As a result of this new rule, many states will have to pass new enabling legislation or permitting requirements, all of which will be required by the EPA by the federal government, again in a domain that has in the past been reserved to the states. EPA would counter that this rule is not about regulating the states at all. It is about regulating the emitters of carbon pollution, namely utility companies, and that that is well within its jurisdiction under prior Supreme Court precedent, the Massachusetts versus EPA case, that said that EPA could regulate greenhouse gas emissions. Opponents would argue that EPA is acting outside of its authority under the Clean Air Act by sweeping all aspects of electricity production under EPA's control. EPA counters that the electricity grid and the power plants that supply it are interconnected, and as a result, it needs a national regulatory program under the Clean Air Act to enforce these emission reductions. Over the last several terms, the Supreme Court has been pulling back on EPA regulation and calling the agency when it doesn't do cost-benefit analysis or rewrites statutes to impose new regulations on the regulated industry. So as a result, many think that the Supreme Court wanted to make sure that the legality of the rule was explored first before any regulatory regime went into place.